So it's the last day of carnival, the last day of Apocris. And we've got Cathara de Ftera, Clean Monday, tomorrow, the first day of Lent. And Coming up tomorrow. Yeah. So there isn't a household in Greece that isn't preparing what we're going to be showing you in a moment. Hello, taste buddies. <laughs> Hello, welcome to another show. <laughs> there you go. We'll leave him then having his wash by the lime tree. And I'll take my beer. Yeah. And I think let's that's, go and Yeah, let's go and show everybody. And do the octopus. Yeah. Okay. So here isn't it wonderful to be able to cook outside at last? At last, yeah, it's lovely and warm today. <laughs> So, we're going to show you a lovely octopus dish, which is a big thing tomorrow. Taramo Salata is the start of the show, when we do our Lent. You know, every household in Greece will do Taramo Salata tomorrow, and they're going to keep it in the fridge. They're going to eat it with crusty bread for the next 40 days. Ah, but what crusty bread? Yeah, We've got special bread tomorrow. Tomorrow is a very special bread, which is coming later. What I'm going to do... I'll show you the ingredients, but at the moment I need to clean the octopus, take the guts off and the eyes, so I'm going to go to the top and clean this little boy. Because it's a messy job. Locally caught. So I'll see you all in a minute. So I've done, I've done the guts and at the mo now I want to get rid of the eyes. Because they uh, got all the ink in them, haven't they? They've got lots of ink in them and we don't really need them, so basically just cut cut through the eye and then just wash it. Look away now if you're just gonna, squeamish. Just gonna, yeah, just gonna rinse it. That'd so. be me then. <laughs> and this is our little baby for tomorrow. We're gonna... We're show gonna you how to prepare it. him. We're gonna yeah. show you how we're gonna prepare him. And it, as I said, it's a big thing, you know, in Easter, uh, before Easter, Lent period, we don't eat anything with blood. So this is in our land, no blood, no blood. So we can't have fish, obviously any kind of meat. So it'd be like a prawns, calamari, uh, octopus, yeah. cuttlefish, anything like that. Okay. Let's go. So this baby's gonna go in. And the rest of my ingredients is a little bit of wine, some white wine in there. A few peppercorns, mixed peppercorns. They're going in. And here I have uh, two or three slices of ginger, fresh ginger. That's your twist, isn't it? That's my twist. A couple of bay leaves. And here I have some stalks from dill and parsley. So all these beautiful aromatic things are going in. And she will go and cut some thyme as well. Oh. I, think that, I think a sprig of thyme would be lovely in there. We'll put a sprig of thyme and very little water. Okay, just very, very little water because the octopus is going to release its own water and we're going to simmer it very very slowly until it's nice and tender so let's go and cut some thyme it's cut only it. here okay from the thyme bush around the corner this got thyme in here it's so beautiful thyme isn't it oh so. i don't know we say about that we say that about everything don't we, we? we do use it on <laughs> almost everything <laughs> yeah, especially yeah. when we do risottos you know and fresh pastas and stuff like that so put the thyme in but then we say that when we cut our basil we say that when we cut our mint yeah our that's, rosemary that's the beauty of the herbs the yeah. marjoram <laughs> yeah. so this is our little cooking fire yeah. <laughs> Down below. Whoa. Yeah. Turn it down. Go lid. get the lid, which I forgot <laughs> upstairs. All right. And have a beer. So this is gonna simmer now for about an hour. So here are our ingredients. Um, this is the tarama salata I learned uh, from my mum to make. My mum always used spring onions, never used dry onion. Lots of people use dry onion, it's fine, but we prefer it this way. You get the flecks of green in it and it's just a fresher I think you flavor, can beat it. I think, yeah. So except the onions, we need bread, plenty of bread. You can do taramo salada also with potato. 
but this is much lighter with bread. Any old bread you have in the cupboard is good. A bit of garlic. This is the tarama, which I got the other day. And it's um, smoked kodzro. Mm -hmm. And this is the color you you need. You don't need the pink, you know, you don't ever buy that the pink strawberry stuff. strawberry mousse stuff. Yeah, that's not proper tarama. This is the proper stuff. That's the color it, that it should have in nature before yep. they add any Coloring e numbers and, to it or something. Whatever, yeah. yeah. So we've got some black pepper. We've got, we need lots of olive oil, lots of lemon juice, and I'm probably using a little bit of zest as Good well. Good job, we've got lots of lemons and lots of oil, isn't it? So, <laughs> yeah, we're lucky on that respect. So, first things first, we don't want any crust. So, I'm going to trim all the bread. As I said, any old bread. I had like three slices of. Uh, Toasty bread. Toasty bread, you know, that can go in. The chickens will be happy with them crusts. The chickens will have all that, yeah. So, that can go in. And that's yep. some lovely bread from the bakery. A lovely bakery down, down the hill. We bought extra on purpose, because under normal circumstances, it's so, it's so delicious, we never waste any of, bre no, of the bread don't. from our bakery. This but. is uh, baked in olive wood oven, you know, mm. the old fashioned way. So get rid of all the crust. And then we're gonna soak the bread in water for a few minutes to soften it. And this is our first step of the tarama salata. So while this is soaking in water, I'm gonna go and get rid of all the bread. The chickens are waiting down there. <laughs> well, they don't know. There's gonna be a little treat for them today, isn't there? So, yeah, cold water to soak it. And go and get rid of these. Right, these guys are waiting for a, look at that, midday treat. What's going on? <laughs> oh. Come on. Okay, first step in the tarama salata. You get your tarama and you put it in your blender. The old people, they used to do it with um, pestle and mortar. Yes, I'm in shock and horror here because when know, I make the tarama salata, Diane always does, yeah, but always in the pestle and mortar. But, but life is too short. <laughs> <laughs> so plenty of olive oil, and we're going to start whizzing the tarama salata and the olive oil to a smooth paste while I'm getting on with the rest. That's oh, and you only uh, used a bit of the tarama there, yeah. Yeah, we don't need a lot. Uh, I can give you the, I'm gonna give you the, the right measurements anyway, so start working this nice and gently and while this is good, sort that garlic out and squeeze the, the water out of the um, bread. So peel the garlic first. Okay, garlic's peeled, a couple of lemons. Squeeze the lemons, we need lots of lemon juice. The lemon juice will balance the saltiness of the uh, cod roll. Which is still whizzing away there. That's whizzing nice and gently there, yeah. Whizzing nice and gently. Octopus is still simmering nice and gently over there. And it's all going on over here. Lovely smells. Mm. Beautiful smells. So, chop the the onion. It's not too finely, I notice, because they're going in the whizzer. It's going to go in the whizzer, yeah. Yeah. And start squeezing any extra moist of the bread. As much as you can. Not necessarily on your kitchen floor, though. We can do this before we're outside. Yeah, we don't have a sink here. <laughs> so, at this point, I can start feeding the bread in into the machine as well as the spring onion and the garlic. Oh, it's just hit a bit of volume there. So everything goes in. Lemon juice, yeah? Some lemon juice. Beautiful. 
Lynn of lemon juice. Garlic, more onion. Such a good man. Hey, are you just patiently waiting while we're doing all this? Such a good boy. Do you do anything except sleep, Bujo? So it takes like next to nothing and look how beautiful and creamy it is oh. now and this is a this is the time now to taste it and now by tasting it you, you know if you want more olive oil more lemon you know so try some of that what do you reckon onion is perfect right the garlic is fine maybe a little bit more lemon it does, t yeah, the lemon really brings out the tart, yes, doesn't it? Yeah. And a little bit more of this liquid gold. And another whiz, and I think that's it. We're done. And I think. What do you reckon? Lovely. Lovely. Creamy, okay. lemony, oily, beautiful, as it should be. Take that off so I can get it better. And that, folks is the proper colour a taramasalata should, be, should yeah. be. So next time they try and give you that pink fluffy stuff... Don't! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay! <laughs> See you in a minute! So our creamy taramasalata is ready. All ready for tomorrow? Ready for tomorrow, so we're going to put in a, a glass bowl and it's going to go in the fridge. And tomorrow we're going to enjoy it with the, the lagana, as we said, the beautiful crusty bread. So, in the glass bowl, let me sort this out. I don't want to waste any. <laughs> and this too is precious, too precious. Too precious you know. We only eat it once a year, so we make most of it. And um, this... Well, once a year, but during Lent, isn't it? So... During Lent, yeah. And as I said before, this is a great little tool. This little silicone spatula is just lovely for jobs like this. So, all in a bowl. Oh. Then later on, while you're not watching, Get I'm going to take a bit of bread <laughs> and clean the bowl, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, lovely, really lovely. So wasting nothing at all. So here we are, as much as you can. But leaving, you have to leave some for the wiping of the bowl, don't you? Wiping of the bowl, yeah. So, some more olive oil on it. That's the thing with the taramo salada. It likes the ziki, it needs a lot of olive oil, a lot of lemon juice. So this beauty is ready for tomorrow. Cling yeah. film in the fridge. And the octopus, I think, it's ready. You know what oh. I don't like about octopus? They shrink. It was so oh, nice and big oh, in the sun look. there. And this is, look now, I've got my poker here. It just look at it, it oh, just goes through. Oh, it's like butter. So tender. And because we didn't put much water in, that's all we got left, which is exactly what we need. And that way, the octopus reabsorbs its own juices and it's extra, extra tasty. That's it. So this beauty is going to go here. I'm going to use some of the, those lovely vegetable juices. I don't know if you've noticed earlier on, I didn't put any salt in it because octopus is salty, naturally salty. If you need salt, extra salt, you can put some later. And in this po at this point here, I'm going to squeeze a bit of lemon. This is just to marinate it now, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to stay there, cool down completely. Yeah. A bit of balsamic or any good vinegar. Only a little bit. A couple of drops black, of that. Black Always. olive oil. And a bit of pepper. So here we are, mix all the lemon and the vinegar now and the olive oil and the pepper. 
pepper and all the juices from the octopus. Oh my god. The smell is divine. Oh, it's amazing. I have to say though, I'm glad it's out here in the open air. <laughs> the only thing is missing now is a little bit of oregano, which I'm going to do tomorrow because this baby is going to go on the barbecue tomorrow. So it'd be nice and crispy outside and smoky, and inside it's just going to melt in your mouth. <laughs> so the day yesterday, today is blowing a holy. I'm in my like, winter gear. No chance for a penny today then. No picnic, but the octopus has to go on the charcoal. It just has to. Can you listen? Can you hear that rain on the roof? Beautiful. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> Cheers. No fly, uh, no kite flying today. No, perfect just, uh, weather for kite flying though. No. So, oh, not the rain. Yeehaw! Oh my god, I think that's hailstones. Look at that. Is it hailstones? I think so. Sounds like. Oh, lovely. Anyway. So, this boy, he needs to go on the barbecue for a couple of minutes just to get this <laughs> lovely smoky flavour. And then, of course, we're going to go indoors. <laughs> and we no, you. We're not having a picnic today then. Excuse me. What do you think? In or out? <laughs> well, wherever we go, he's out. <laughs> All right, catch you in a minute. Bit of a melts in the mouth is octopus. Lagana, the crusty bread. Excuse me. The best salada ever. And that's the way to do it. Kalisara okay. Kosti, everybody. Oh, the octopus melts in the mouth, isn't it? Fantastic. Cheers and Kalisara Kosti.